These pencils saved my love of drawing, and they might help yours as well. These are Steele & Mars Lumigraph Black Carbon Pencils, and to understand how they helped me, we need to go back down memory lane a little bit. See, back in 2014 and 2015, my art looked like this, and this. Now I'm not saying these are bad drawings, but you can see the dark tones aren't really that dark, and it makes the contrast just look a little bit flat and boring. I only ever use graphite for my black and white drawings, and graphite can be a difficult medium to use when it comes to getting really dark tones. I tried everything I could think of to make it as dark as it needed to be, but nothing I did seemed to work. I was always left with this underwhelming shiny greyish tone, a problem I think a lot of artists have dealt with before, and this really took the fun out of drawing for me for a long time. I got to a skill level I was happy with, but the improvements just seemed to slow down and at times it felt like they completely stopped. It was hard to stay motivated when I couldn't see my work improving. So to stop from being disheartened I changed tactics and tried to focus on coloured pencil portraits instead. I had a lot of fun with these coloured pencil drawings, but I always felt like black and white drawings were my main expertise, so I decided to do something about it. I looked online for tips on how to get proper dark tones, something I've talked about quite a lot over the last year or so, and I tried to find some solutions. I already knew about charcoal, and I had some good results with it. But as far as I knew, charcoal and graphite didn't really mix very easily. Graphite's smooth and shiny, and charcoal is coarse and rough, so if you try and use charcoal on top of graphite, it doesn't really work very well because the charcoal has nothing to grip onto. You can see in this example, the charcoal just kind of glided over the top and left the graphite in the middle untouched. But then something new caught my eye. Carbon pencils. Part graphite, part carbon, they have a balanced mix that brought the best of both worlds and it apparently allows them to blend almost seamlessly with graphite in a way that charcoal pencils can often struggle. You can see with this test with the carbon pencils that they blend with the graphite a lot better than the charcoal did. It's still not quite perfect and it takes a bit of work, but they mix a lot better. So I gave them a go, and well, the results are instant. This was my first ever drawing with these pencils, and you can see how much nicer the dark tones are. It makes the whole drawing just look a lot more professional and tidy. So finally I was able to get the contrast my work had been missing. The darks were darker, meaning the mids could be darker, which allowed the highlights to stand out like I needed them to. And they mixed really nicely with graphite. They completely reinvigorated my love of drawing and put me on a path of improvement that I've been on ever since. With the newfound ability to get these darker tones, everything else was able to improve and things started falling into place. This was my work before. I had good accuracy on the details, but the darker tones felt flat and dull. And this is after. Nice solid dark tones with less shine allow me to get a better range of tones overall. You can really see the difference between the carbon pencils and the graphite pencils in this drawing of Lupita Nyong'o. The left half was done with graphite, and the right side was done with carbon pencils. You can see how the dark tones really pop out with the carbon side, and also have much less of that distracting shine. And here's a little side-by-side, -side, like for like comparison of an 8B graphite pencil and an 8B carbon pencil. You can see it's quite a big difference. Now, for the sake of being informative, these aren't the only pencils that can achieve this. I've also tried out the Faber-Castell Pick Graphite Mats, which might not actually be carbon pencils. Faber-Castell is secretive about the ingredients of these pencils, so I'm not entirely sure if they have carbon in them. But they're designed for the same purpose, and they work brilliantly. I've only used them for one drawing so far, which is this Chris Evans drawing where I did another half and half. This time the left side was done with the Steetler carbon pencils, and the right side was done with the Faber-Castells. And you can see that there's almost no difference whatsoever between the two sides, so they're both great and I'd highly recommend either. And I'm always on the lookout for other pencils that are made for the same purpose, so I can test them out and maybe gain some new recommendations to give to you. Now I'm not saying graphite is useless. I still use graphite pencils with my carbon pencils. They feel really nice to use and they're still great for getting nice mid-tones and lighter tones. But for me, when I want those amazing deep dark tones with a matte finish, these pencils are usually what I reach for. 
And as good as the Faber Castells are, the Steelers were the first carbon pencils I used and they'll always mean a lot to me as the pencils have saved my love of drawing and helped me to enjoy art again. I want to round this out by saying you don't need the best tools to make good art. There are so many techniques and different skills you can learn while still using affordable products. But I think once you reach a certain level, the right tools can be a huge help. It won't make everything immediately perfect and there's still a learning curve. And whenever people ask me for tips, my go-to advice is almost always to do with techniques and practice and specific skills instead of the tools. But I have to be honest and say that I do think better tools can raise the ceiling of what you're capable of. You shouldn't rush to get the expensive stuff, but if it's available to you, try not to shun it. Sometimes a slightly higher quality art supply is exactly what you need to take your work to the next level. With that being said, I hope this helped you and gave you some ideas. And now you know all about these carbon pencils, you can watch this video up here to see me compare two types of graphite pencils to see which could be good ones to add to your collection. Remember to like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.